VR just keeps leading us in new directions. It can even do things that appear to be medical miracles. And that's what has brought me to this Newcastle gym. I've come to meet someone who four years ago had a life-changing accident. Hello. Hey, hey how you going? Bro. Jordan. Nice to meet you. Nice to hey. Hey. Jordan, Angus McConnell. Angus, nice to meet you. Yeah, tell us a bit about yourself. I'm a C7 complete spinal cord injury. I was riding my push bike and a car crossed my path. Oh my God. I would have been travelling at about 60 k's an hour. Angus was told he'd never walk again or even have any movement below the chest. My left hand couldn't use to pick up a bottle. With a complete spinal break like his, the connection between brain and body are usually severed. Nothing gets through. This is the input electrodes that we're using to stimulate the quadriceps. Yep, right. Movement specialist Rowan has devised a unique therapy combining VR with electrical muscle stimulation. Internally, I'm going to feel buzzing sound, like feedback almost, if you can imagine white noise as a sensation, like I'm being charged. Yeah. <laughs> muscle wasting is a problem for anyone with paralysis. Angus's legs are being moved by pulses from electrodes, combining this with the convincing virtual reality of climbing Mount Everest. Okay, so what, what do you feel like this might be able to do in your rehabilitation? Well, it, Jordan, it makes it realistic. Like I'm looking at a couple of guys climbing ahead of me. I'm seeing the flags blowing in the wind there. I'm seeing snow and ice fall down in front of me. And, you know, I'm starting to feel that I'm actually there. <laughs> Good, and so, so you're seeing a climbing pattern. I'm less thinking about what I'm doing and it's just sort of happening. And I am getting stronger as a result. He gets an effective all body workout to build muscle. There's a lot of physical exertion going on here and I can feel it, I'm breathing harder than I was before. But now, because I'm throwing an ice pick into some ice and climbing up a rope, it is actually meaning something to me. Yeah. As well as this exercise, there appears to be something else going on between Angus's brain and body. He's beginning to move his feet on his own. That is unbelievable, really. There is something tiny getting through. Yeah. Considering I was given, you're not going to have anything from here down. Yeah. Apparently I am. Unbelievable. Mm. <laughs> now he feels confident enough to do something unthinkable four years ago. He's going to try and stand. Go. Come on, Angus. Come in. The harness isn't there to pull him up, yep. just to stop him falling. No, no. Okay. Is that, okay. That just, no. Can you get me back? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Just need to come forward on the chair. Yep. You're right, bud. Good. That's some pop. Show your guns off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. So come in really tight. Are you ready? While the electrical stimulation straightens his legs, actually getting upright is all down to Angus. Come on, Angus. Oh. Hey, bud. <laughs> <laughs> okay, jaws, hips. <laughs> oh, smooth. Hey, that's about <laughs> Keep it up, huh? Yep, hips forward, hips. Yes. It's difficult to say exactly what part VR is playing in Angus's recovery, or even if there was something about the nature of his injury that made it possible, but this really is a new and exciting area of research and what a moment it is to witness. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, that was awesome.